Welcome to Southern Rounds. We are Southern Rounds. And we have been coming to you via live stream for the last couple of years. Uh, and we are just so happy to continue to come to you via live stream on that wall there. But we are so grateful to be with you folks in this beautiful analog room. I mean, this room is something special. And the team here, amazing. So we, are, uh, we love it so much, so much, we want to make it our home. And we're going to be here regularly. And so look for us. Thank you for supporting our mission. And our mission is really simple. We want to pay tribute and honor songwriting and the craft of songwriting and the songwriters that do that. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, so in our small little way, we put Southern Rounds together and try to put as many songwriters on the stage, as many stages in front of as many people as possible. Tonight, we have a bunch of bad asses up here. And I, and I, I mean it, uh, truly. You'll see their asses when they go th leave the stage. They're bad. They're all bad. Um, so, <laughs> so this is a gift. They share their gift with us every time we hear a song that we love and it touches us. They find the words that we can't to express the emotions that we all share. This is a gift that they share generously with us. And uh, we want to give our thanks back to you. And I want to get my butt off this stage and hand it over to this extraordinarily talented host tonight, Mr. Levi Lowry. Come on, baby. Thank you, Richard. I didn't know that I was a talented host. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm here because Dave Kennedy cannot be. This has been a long time coming, man. I guess we've been doing this for two years without a live audience. And um, as fun as that sounds, <laughs> it's not very fun. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being here, really. We appreciate you. Down on the end here, this is Mr. James Otto. James is an incredible, you already know about him. I got one thing that I want to read here about James. You ready? Read it off, son. Okay. Come on. Check this out. James, your second record, Sunset Man, was released in April of 2008. Mm. The lead-off single You didn't have to bring up the year. That was a long time ago. But, uh, you old. Man. Hey, man. It true. Still true. counts. Me too. The single, Just Got Started Loving You, the lead single from that record, was your first number one. Right? Yeah. Yes, okay. it was. It was. Yeah, yeah. I was didn't know these were questions. Were these questions? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Like yes. It. Yes, it was my first number one. <laughs> and it was also the number one country single of 2008, according to Billboard, correct? <sighs> Thank God for that, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I had all these... You are a talented host. Well, this I is have, amazing. I was sent like 17 paragraphs about you. <laughs> so I had to do a little skimming. Ah. And the only other thing that I saw here was that uh, James is also a part-time Viking. True. Who, That's true, yeah. He Soul does, Viking. Soul Viking. Yeah, and he enjoys pillaging, but only when given <laughs> permission. So ah. feel free to talk to him about that after the show. Perfect, perfect, yeah. yeah. James, why don't you play us a song? Okay, you got it. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I've been working on a new record, and uh, y'all mind hearing a new song, something new? <laughs> These hands can play this guitar all night in a bar. They know the way around these strings yeah they're steady and strong can work all day long and fix all kinds of things they can cook they can clean so up holes in my jeans carry bags when we're leaving the store but that's not what these hands are made for Girl, these hands, yeah, these hands can be tender when you need tending to. When the storm's blowing in, 
Yeah, they're strong enough to pull you through All these hands, yeah, these hands Were made for loving you These hands can wrench on an engine Adjust your suspension, get covered in dirt and grime But they clean up just fine, polish and shine and pour you a fine glass of wine There they light up a candle Get your hair all in tangles Let your hair in there on the floor Yeah, that's just what these hands are made for Girl, these hands, yeah, these hands Can be tender when you need tending to when the storm's blowing in, yeah, they're strong enough to pull you through. All oh, these hands, yeah, these hands were made for loving you. No, there ain't nothing, nothing they won't do. When it comes, Oh, when it comes to pleasing you Oh, these hands, yeah, these hands Can be tender when you need tending to When the storm's blowing in Yeah, they're strong enough to pull you through All oh, these hands, yeah, these hands all these hands All these hands Were made for loving you Yeah, they're made for loving you Oh, they're made for loving you Oh, they're made for loving you Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, they're made for loving you. Thank you. James Otto. Good night, everybody. <laughs> that was nice. I'm sure glad you put me next to him. <laughs> Having you got hits, baby. <laughs> now you ain't got nothing to worry about. Having to follow that is uh, Mr. Christian Bush. <laughs> you guys know Christian. He is. Hi, everybody. <laughs> he is one half of Sugarland, one half of Billy Pilgrim. He's in a band called Dark Water now um, that is fantastic. Check it out, please. There's just too many things to list, man. You have, you have so much. Um, I, I'm as tall standing up as Otto is sitting down. <laughs> actually, he's taller than me sitting. He is, I, actually. I noticed I, that I earlier, but I is. wasn't going to say anything. I was going to leave that to you. <laughs> and I've got boots and a f hat. <laughs> Sorry, I just that was my streaming stutter. That was me being like, oh, we're speaking. Streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta watch out for that. Sorry language. about that. Editors. Very good. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Christian is also the only one among us who's ever been a video game character. Oh, yeah. You know, you need to say yet about that because I think any of you could be digitized. Mm. Yeah, I just said it. I know who's in the room. They will meta your ass so fast. Oh, shit. All right. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Christian, play us a song. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Oh. Uh, hi. <laughs> you don't know this song. They didn't know mine either. <laughs> That's okay. They could act like they did with yours, right. but you don't know mine. Don't act like you do. My guy's my favorite song. No, you're drunk and in Nashville. <laughs> this song, uh, I have teenagers. 
I know it doesn't look like I'm that old. I'm just short. <laughs> but uh, uh, this is a song from my very fun rock band, uh, Dark Water. This is a song about, um, well, if you're a parent and you have a child that's a teenager, I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> no, sir. That's not mine. <laughs> this guy's weed. It ain't mine. on digging, there's no telling what you'll find. Dust to dust, shine to shine, ashes grow back every time. It's God's weed, it ain't mine. It's God's money. It ain't yours Maybe you should just give it back On your way out the door My dad said, someday son You have to learn Turn the other cheek Those might be my pennies and my seeds But it's God's way Oh, sir, I must apologize. I'm not here to break the law. If you're going to take the things I got, you might as well take it all. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thank you. Levi. <laughs> Christian Bush. Hi, everybody, and good evening. God is good all the time. <laughs> Ain't he good? Ain't he good? It's the Delta 8 that still works. <laughs> it's like Delta 8 and a half it's now. It's God's gummies. It's God's gummies. Whatever you know, seems legal. You know what I, I, I saw <laughs> on my street, and, I, and my, my Nashville street was a Buds and Brews. Mm. Shiz is not open yet, but it is open. Oh, somebody knows. Leave it to the sound guy. <laughs> he knows. I love it. So my question is this, sir. <laughs> is it a dessert place? Ah. Is it open late? Is the weed <laughs> in the beer? Somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. Ladies and gentlemen, to my left. To your right, sitting down, the very tall Wyatt Durrett. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Don't. Wyatt. 
has so many number ones. It's frankly, it's intimidating. He. <laughs> All right, here, I want to sing a song. 1.5 <laughs> 1. billion digital streams, 24 million singles sold, 9 million albums sold, and 16 number ones of country and rock radio. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to Analog. Thank you to everyone for being here thank you for f these three guys for being here um to reiterate what um richard blackstone said our goal is just to showcase songwriters and songs and that's the most beautiful thing about this town and it's definitely what makes my heart beat every day is is songs and songwriters and it's one of my favorite things I love about this town is coming here that I can walk into any room some night and hear a song that blows my damn mind as the as a consumer listening to the song that I needed to hear. And then also as a writer going, damn, I need to be better at what I do sometimes. You know what I mean? You get inspired, but it's awesome. And and I it that matters the most to us. And um the thing we wanted to do um, Levi and I started a band called Yesterday's Wine and uh, the reason was a lot of times you just write a lot of songs and, and, and the fact is it's really hard for the world to hear them and uh, so we wanted to start this thing Southern Rounds as well as what we started as a band just because I don't want them to sit on a shelf I want the world to hear them that's what, why we do it to begin with you know this is one of those songs and kind of kind of based on your last song a little bit um, you know, bring it in. And I, I spent the last six weeks on my back, literally. My back went out, and I was on my back, staring at a fucking ceiling, for six weeks. Um, so, this means a lot to me, just to hear people play guitars and see people together and like those kinds of things. And this song's called "Must Have Been an Angel," and it's more written towards uh, self-induced pain, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> And somebody saving your ass, whether it be, you know, up there or somebody you love. Um, but I kind of feel that um, I needed to be saved a little bit. Lost in the bottom, swimming in women. Making up a new definition of sinning Got a little too good and some really bad living I was running wild Pushed it to the limit Any way you spin it If there was whiskey in a well, hell I'd probably jump in it It's a beautiful thing when you come out getting on the other side it Must have been an angel Watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel, watching, must have been an angel. Caught in a daze, chasing medication. It's tricky enough when you're smoking and drinking Tricky when your mind's on a different station All the time I used to call it a phase But it ain't slowing down I never had a doubt I'd ever make it out I'm lucky to be alive Must have been an angel Watching over me Pulling me out of the dark Bringing me redemption Setting me free Seeing that my soul would never be so Seeing that my heart could never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Whenever I'm falling, 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 falling I fall hard But something keeps me Falling, 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 we too far. It must have been 
Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free, seeing that my soul could never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel watching, must have been an angel, must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul can never be so Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Maybe I should stop and thank the Lord For sending me an angel <laughs> There you go Why drip? So, y'all, this is Mr. Levi Lowry, and he's a damn onion. There's a lot to this man. He's one of my best friends. Thanks, man. He's one of, uh, just as a man, as a human being, an amazing person, and one of the most uh, talented poets in this business, in my yeah, opinion, baby. Mr. Levi Lowry. Well, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Just past the second anniversary of my father passing away, and uh, I wanted to write a song for him back when this happened. And I, but I didn't want it to be sad because he'd be pissed and he'd probably come back and kick my ass if it was sad. <laughs> and so my thought was, what would Shel Silverstein do? And um, I got I developed this idea, but then I, I just was having a really hard time working my way through it. And a lot of the times those personal songs kind of. Um, you don't want anybody else to touch it, or, but I just was incapable of finishing this tune. So I got with Dave Kennedy. Um, we had a right, and I had no intention of throwing this idea out there, but uh, for some reason I did, and thank God, because Dave uh, helped me finish it, and um, it's a really good story. I'm not actually gonna play the song, I just wanted to tell you all about <laughs> how it was written. So please check it out. Um, it'll be out soon, hopefully, and you guys can hear it. I am selling streams of the song after the show, and I'll, it's 99 cents, I'll play it for you on my phone, and then you can go get in line again and hear it again if you'd like, like it's, sorry. <laughs> The apple looked up to the tree he said, when you gonna let go of me? You've been hanging on for so long now. It's time for me to fall. It's time for me to fall. The tree looked down at the apple green. He said, a falling sun ain't all it seems. Well, it's a long way down and that ground is hard Let me hold you for a while Let me hold you for a while Cause when the strong wind blows and the rain comes down It's me who keeps you safe and sound Let me plant one seed there in your heart You can roll away, but don't roll far Roll away, but don't roll far The apple looked up to the tree so high And said I did not know I could not fly Where am I supposed to go from here? There ain't no place left to fall No place left to fall The tree looked down at the apple red And told the apple boy just use your head the way to grow up strong and tall is right there in your heart. It's right there in your heart. So when the strong wind blows and the rain comes down, it's me who keeps you safe and sound. Let me plant one seed there in your heart. You can roll away, but don't roll far. Roll away, but don't roll far. The 
Apple looked down at the tree Said I ain't ready yet for you to leave The tree looked up and said can't you see You got branches of your own And you got branches of your own So when the strong wind blows and the rain comes down It's me who keeps you safe and sound Let me plant one seed there in your heart you can roll away, but don't roll far. Roll away, but don't roll far. You can roll away, but don't roll far. Roll away, but don't roll far. The apple looked up to the tree and said, When you gonna let go of me? Thank you so much. Thank you. James, and that's Mr. Levi that. Lowry, uh, Lord have mercy. What a great songwriter he is. Yes. Mm, let's see here. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for being here. Mm. Put them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to uh, keep on with some new music, if you all don't mind. A new, new-ish music. Uh, I have not released it yet. This song is actually a couple years old, but it's something that I love and uh, something I'm excited about, and uh, it's going to be on this new record. It's called Out of the Blue. Check it out. Honey, how do I ever get so lucky to find a woman like you so lovely? There must be someone up there looking out for me. It's crazy. Lord knows I don't deserve you, baby. But if I am a house those blue skies, I'd lose my mind. Well, just when I think I'm falling into that heavy heart on some darling, you just pick me up, dust me off, show me everything ain't going south. You pull me out of that dark cloud, slacking up around when the rain falls down. A real life saver when I'm about to drown. Don't know where I'd be without you. To pull me out of the blue, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, blue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, sometimes I'm a tired broke walker on a high line. In between the devil and the sunshine, I might find myself slipping, baby. You step in just when I think I'm falling. fiddle y'all come on Just when I think I'm falling into the heavy hollow, some darling, you pick me up, dust me off, show me everything ain't going south. You pull me out of that dark cloud, slacking on around when the rain falls down. A real life saver when I'm about to try. with 
me, come on. Blue woo woo ooh ooh ooh. Ah, blue woo woo ooh ooh Yeah, yeah. Pull me out of that blue woo woo ooh ooh ooh. Ah, blue woo woo ooh ooh ooh. Ah, blue woo woo ooh ooh ooh. Yeah, yeah. You pull. Mr. Christian Bush, y'all. Well, James. Make some noise for that man. Oh, Lord. I'm here to give you some comic relief. <laughs> Still oh, not shit, done. Man, you got amazing songs. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. It's okay. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make out all the time. Sometimes you got to laugh. <laughs> you make out with him, and then I'll make you laugh, and you'll want to stay the rest of the night with me. That's, that's the name of my new record. Because of the. Yeah, uh, auto erotica. That's gonna uh, be my new record. <laughs> <laughs> her name, her uh, her name was Monica. My name was Bill. Oh Lord, I almost <laughs> wrote a song right in that second to rhyme with uh, auto erotica. That's so weird. That's streaming. My children can Google that. Oh Lord, have mercy. Who are you? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, there's some information while I'm tuning. Um, it is really difficult to get a song on the radio. Very it is not easy. It looks easy from the outside. The 10-year-old me thought that was a cinch. <laughs> and the 22-year-old me went said, oh, there are other genres? And then the 30-something-year-old me was like, wow, we have to do what? <laughs> so one of the things you can do, for those of you not in the business, which is like eight of you in here, <laughs> is um, you can agree to go on a vacation, which sounds pretty cool, uh, for um, a radio station maybe from the Midwest where you stand in the middle of a resort and people touch you. <laughs> because they see you on television. And you hold still. You smile. And I was on one of these trips because I didn't take vacations because I like my job and it's not even my job. It's like it's a job, but it's, it's not work. I tell my kids, I'm going to play tonight. Really, Dad? Yes, I'm going to work. Which one, which one is it? Oh. Uh, in this particular instance, I hadn't taken a vacation in three years because our song was on the radio, and you have to pay everybody seven times to play your song. And this was one of the exchanges. So I went to a, a, a resort in Cancun with my friends, and we're sitting there watching people file in from the Midwest in February, very, very pale <laughs> <laughs> human beings. <laughs> And uh, they were checking in, uh, and we were there a day early because I thought, oh, we'll get one day of no petting zoo. And <laughs> I, 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 no, I agreed to this because I want to be on the radio. This, you, this is the shit you do. It's okay. Send me on vacation. Oh, it could be worse, you know? Um, so I'm sitting there watching people check in, <laughs> and uh, the husband and wife, and of course, she's got her shit together, and he doesn't. And she, uh, she rolls up, and she throws her credit card down, and the man runs out to the, like, the little uh, sort of overlook where they were checking in. And we're watching them all from below. And the, the ocean's behind us. And this guy runs up to the, to the railing, and he grabs it, and he says, Honey, look, there's a bar with a pool in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bar with a pool in it 
It's got underwater stools in it. Little pink bikini tops swimming around. I can drink and never fall down. And this bar with the pool in it. <laughs> There's a straw with a drink in it. And I'm trying not to think in it. Lifeguards buying us another round. Here's to hoping we don't drown. In this bar. You feel a warm breeze through the palm trees. Man, you know I love that sound. You feel the sunshine. It's a good time. Dancing, drinking, slipping down into this bar with a pool in it. There's a suit with a fool in it And he's really missing you in it Tequila Joe's floating over next to me Baby, right where you should be In this bar with a pool in it You feel the warmth Sounds like the water from the water slide. Just drip. Grayson Bush. I want to go there. <laughs> See, you don't have to take the world so seriously. <laughs> My favorite line is "Sue with a fool in it." You, you, that one got me. <laughs> that one got me. You think you think you're watching the fish in the fishbowl, but <laughs> we're really watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there? Again, give it up for all these guys up here. Give it up for yourselves. Give it up for Analog. Give it up for you guys, wherever you are out there. Um, this is my favorite song I've ever written. I guess more for personal reasons, but uh, I was trying to explain to my little boy a very complicated adult situation and probably trying to explain it to myself along the way. I wrote it, I wrote it with my buddy, Zach Brown. Um, I, I, I think part of the reason that we got it right, you know, sometimes you, it doesn't matter if it hits a heart, yeah, hits a chart, you know, sometimes it's just about getting the song right, you know, and uh, this song was, he came from, from a place that he saw his father every other weekend, and I came from a place of seeing my son every other weekend, and every song, every word of this song is completely true. I left Atlanta every Friday and picked up my son on the on the Georgia South Carolina line um, and dropped him off every Sunday. Um, 
It's called Highway 20 Ride. I ride east every other Friday But if I had it my way I'd even not be wasted on this track I want so bad to hold you Son, there's things I haven't told you Your mom and me, we couldn't get along so I drive And I think about my life I wonder why That I slowly die inside Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days And the miles back home On that highway They might come, you realize that if you see through my eyes, I watch no other way to work it out. Part of you might hate me, but son, please don't mistake me for a man who didn't carry it out. Cause I will drive. And I think about my life I wonder why That I slowly die inside Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days And the miles back home On that highway 20 round When you drive, man, those years they went flying by. I hope you smile. Yeah, if I ever cross your mind, it was a pleasure of my life. And I cherished every time. Cause my whole world, it begins and ends with you on that highway. Val Lowry. You having fun? You ready for more? We ain't done. We ain't done. Keep drinking. <laughs> you don't have to encourage me. <laughs> Were you waking up on Christmas and your friends took a little vacation? You're huddled in the bedroom with the children and the blue ticks cold, that's real cold. You're pining for a fire and you're longing for a higher station. In a hurry just to worry about your cousins coming digging for gold. But let it go just where it wants to, let it roll just where it may. You find yourself sleeping just a little bit better at the end of the day. There's a lot of things to count on and a whole lot more you can't. If you find yourself wishing your condition was a different buddy, all you gotta do is wait. Hey, hey, hey. Bless you. Now you're laying in the shade and you say you got it made, now don't you? A pocket full of paper and some shiny alligator shoes. 
to put it all on credit, thinking even I regret it. But listen to the cracking of the maple tree, let them falling down on you. But let it go, just swear it wants to, let it roll, just swear it may. You find yourself sleeping just a little bit better at the end of the day. There's a lot of things to count on and a whole lot more you can't. Everybody, if you find yourself wishing your condition was different, buddy, all you gotta do is wait. That's right. Hey, 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 great singing. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta get quieter. So you start it, you start it loud and confident, and then you get quieter, and then like this. I identify as a guitar player. I'm thankful you do. <laughs> Thanks. Now you're redecorating and you're doing renovations to bathrooms. Don't shake your head at me. I see you back there. I'm always this way. You look disappointed. Now you're redecorating and you're doing renovations to bathrooms. You got 5.4, no, was it 4.5? 4.5 and a, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. You got 4.5 and a clawfoot bathtub, too. You're building her a palace while she's sipping from her chalice and thinking. One final coat of paint and she can get rid of you. But let it go just where it wants to. Let it roll just where it may. You find yourself sleeping just a little bit better at the end of the day. There's a lot of things to count on and a whole lot more you can't. If you find yourself a wishing your condition was a different buddy, all you gotta do is wait. One more time. If you find yourself a wishing your condition was a different buddy, all you gotta do is wait. Great job. Thank you, thank you. Leave our uh, damn Larry. <laughs> Let's do another round. Let's do one more. I love you. We got we got one more one more or two more. What do we got? What do we got? We're gonna do one more we're gonna do one more round and we're gonna take a break so that everybody can do the stuff that you would do if you had a break, oh, yeah, man, Lord. Okay, thank and then we'll come back up. Oh, man. <clears throat> Thanks, Jay. I appreciate that, buddy. Lord, keeping me lubricated. I was thinking, go on all night long. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. All right. Um, so, uh, do you have any dog people out there? I'm a dog guy, too. I'm a dog guy. Uh, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I'm a big dude. I'm uh, about six foot six and 300 plus pounds of man. What kind of dog do you think I got? Gotta be I got to stop setting it up like that because y'all always guess. I have a Chihuahua. Not only do I have a Chihuahua, I have two Chihuahuas. One uh, one just went to the vet the other day and came back a whole 2.4 pounds, y'all. 2.4 pounds of fury. So I drive, I have a big four-wheel drive pickup truck. You know, the kind. The tiny penis kind. Yeah, the big, big, big truck. I got one of those. I drive around town in that. And uh, my dogs like to ride with me, both chihuahuas. And they don't like to ride around with the windows up. They like to ride with the windows down so they can stick their noses out in the air. And uh, <laughs> um, it tells the truth about the kind of person I actually am. Uh, this song right here is called uh, The Man My Dog Thinks I Am. Check it out. No, I never win a Nobel Prize. Ain't a sophisticated kind of guy. I probably never make a million bucks. No, I've never had that kind of luck. 
I don't sit and ponder politics Not because I never gave a lick I'm just a lazy, no good fool musician And I don't harbor many grand ambitions I just want to be the man my dog thinks I am the way he looks at me, it's where I hung the moon. When I talk, he always listens. It's true love with no conditions. When I sing my songs, he's my biggest fan. I just want to be the man my dog thinks I am. Just want to be the man my dog thinks I am. Now it's a lonely life out on the road It follows me no matter where I go The way he's grinning now as the world rolls past You think this old Ford was a Cadillac He reads my face just like an open book And he'll eat damn near anything I could I ain't everybody's cup of tea And he ain't even remember my, it's my company I just want to be the man My dog thinks I am The way he looks at me, it's where I hung the moon When I talk, he always listens True love with no conditions want to sing my songs, he's my biggest fan I just want to be the man my dog thinks I am Just want to be the man my dog thinks I am Strong, fearless, and true Hell, if he only knew I just want to be the man my dog thinks I am. The way he looks at me, it's where I hung the moon. When I talk, he always listens. The true love with no conditions. Wanna sing my songs, he's my biggest fan. I just want to be the man my dog thinks I am. Just want to be the man my dog. Thanks, I am. Thank you. So, uh, <clears throat> dog, your dog is the truly only unconditional love there is in the world, y'all. This is no joke, and I can prove that. I want y'all to think. I want y'all to think about this. You think your mama loves you, right? <laughs> Fellas, do you think your wife loves you? Sometimes. Sometimes. You like me. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about taking your dog and your wife and your mama and locking them in the trunk of your car <laughs> and coming back three hours later and see which one is happy to see you. <laughs> Only your dog, I promise you. Only your it's dog. Gonna be your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Two chihuahuas. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like there'd be an easier way to prove that theory. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> you went through such great. I almost links. spit my drink out, man. You got to stop with that. <laughs> you, went, you went through such great links to prove that to yourself and. I'm glad that you did it. Yeah, well, you know. So that we don't have to. <laughs> oh, man, it's really going to work well with this song I'm choosing. <laughs> I love you. And you showed up. Which means I'll pay you back. My God. <laughs> um, this is an impossible town that has a bunch of impossible dreams. And I keep having the same damn recurring dreams. And uh, 
a lot of people uh, slug it out around here, and uh, I borrowed a shit ton of money from my parents to convince them that this was going to work. And there was no way that was going to happen. And uh, so we wrote this song as a wish, and I'm very, very proud to say that I got to pay him back. <laughs> They say this town the stars stay up all night. Don't know, can't see them for the glow of the neon lights. And it's a long way from here to a place where the home fires burn. Well, it's 2,000 miles and one left turn. Dear mom and dad, please send money. I'm so broke, it, it ain't funny. I don't need much, just enough to get me through. Please don't worry, cause I'm alright. I'm playing here at the bar tonight. This time I'm gonna make our dreams come true. Well, I love you more than anything in the world. Love your baby girl. Black tie, blue sky, big town full of little white lies. Everybody's your friend, you can never be sure. They promise fancy cars and diamond rings and all sorts of shiny things. Girl, you remember what your knees are for. Dear mom and dad, please send money. I'm so broke, it ain't funny. I don't need much, just enough to get me through. Please don't worry, cause I'm alright. I'm playing here at the bar tonight. This time I'm gonna make our dreams come true. Well, I love you more than anything. Tell every time I play, and it's worth all the dues I pay when I can write to you and say, Dear Mom and Dad, I'll send money. I'm so rich, it ain't funny. It ought to be more than enough. To Get you through. Please don't worry, cause I'm alright. I'm staying here at the Ritz tonight. What do you know? We made our dream come true. Cause our fancy cars and diamond rings and all sorts of shiny things, they all add up to nothing compared to you. Just remember me in ribbons and curls And I still love you more than anything in the world Love your baby girl And dreams do come true Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Levi. That was beautiful, man. Christian Bush. Damn you. <laughs> so damn good. Came back range and shit. It was going to be baby chihuahuas, <laughs> but it didn't rhyme with squirrel. <laughs> James ruined that. Yeah.
just want to see a chihuahua in your hand. Mm. It's got to look like a gerbil. I'm telling you that something. new one right there, oh. I can hold it in one hand. That's the first line of the song. I can hold it right here. I can hold it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea where that one's going. You know that little one, he wants you. He's your chihuahua. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get the whole song by the end of the night. <laughs> Big dogs, um, they don't understand. Give it up for Christian Bush. <laughs> James Otto, the Chihuahuas and the Gerbils. Um, and you guys. That's the Richard Gere uh, story. Don't don't mess me up with the Richard Gere story. Don't do that. So I've been lucky enough to be right with this guy for about 15 years, right? 15 years, something like that? Maybe 35. 35 give 35 or take. Years. Give or take. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. The first thing you learn about songwriting. Um, this is the first song we wrote together. Um, and uh, I was on the road with Zach, and I, like I wrote the chorus, and I wrote, I think I just wrote the chorus, and uh, I sang it to anybody who would listen, <laughs> and nobody listened, <laughs> and then Levi finally did, for sure. Um, it was one of those songs where, you know, there's different kind of, kinds of writers, and you kind of know. Um, when the song needs somebody. Uh, but my favorite poet for sure, man. Um, uh, and it's one of my favorite songs for sure. Mine too, man. She trade Colorado if he take a win. Closes the door for the winner, lets the cold in. And wonders if her love is strong enough to make him stay. She's answered by the tail lights shining through the window pane. Said I want to see you again But I'm stuck in colder weather Maybe tomorrow will be better Can I call you then? She said you're a rambling man and You ain't never gonna change You got a gypsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving Troops that bad move just that sad link. The night is black as a coffee he was drinking. And in the wet his eyes, he sees the same old light is shining. And he thinks of Colorado and that girl he left behind him. Said I want to see you again But I'm stuck in cold weather Maybe tomorrow will be better Can I call you then? She said you're a rambling man And you ain't ever gonna change You got a gypsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving Born This song, uh, it, there was another verse. There was three verses to the song. And we got told that a song had a chance being on radio. And like Christian said, lightning's got a strike for that shit to happen every single time. Um, but they said we had to cut a verse for it to make the radio. And we quickly said, yes. <laughs> but this is that verse. In the rear view, he can see a fire glow. Is it? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, thank you. 
I got so distracted by that, man. I was, <laughs> what I heard was, you suck. <laughs> I know, I know. They're so mean. Oh, they've got on sashes. Congratulations on your impending nuptials. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy birthday. I appreciate it very much. No, I just have issues. <laughs> Shit. I'm trying. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> In the rear view, he can see the fire glow. His hesitation comes and goes without her knowing. And in the distance through the windshield, he can see the snow has fallen. He wonders if his calling is worth one more goodbye. Said I want to see you again, but I'm stuck in cold weather. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Can I call you then? She said you're right. Got a gypsy soul to blame, and you were born for leaving. Born for Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Southern Rounds. Thank you, Analog. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Go ahead, get your drinks. Do what you need to do. We'll be right back. So, when I told you they were a bunch of badasses, was I correct? Was, I, was there any truth in that statement? Did you see their asses when they went off the stage? Right? There you go. There you go. Okay, so if you did not cry at least two or three times, <laughs> then please leave the room. If you did not laugh at least two or three times, please leave the room. But these boys, my God, it is such a special night. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so glad you're here. And let's let them finish us up. Why and I wrote this song together a while back and it kind of had a, a different vibe than the way that you ended up hearing it. Uh, the Zac Brown band picked it up and turned it into an insanely quick bluegrass song and it's incredible and they put it on the radio so thank God. <laughs> but we were thinking about it, I think we actually just tried this out one night, we had a long gig where we were just background music and um, so it really didn't matter what we played. And um, and I think we tried this one night, and really um, we impressed ourselves. <laughs> and so we thought maybe other people would like this. And so uh, here you go. Thirty thousand feet above the city where I fell in love with you. And the fading concrete skyline brings an urban lullaby that still rings true. Could have passed you on the street that day, let that red scar fly away. Like any chance I had of keeping you, with that northern wind blowing, yeah, my lonely heart was frozen. Never knew I'd find a way to break yours too. Where the wind blows, babe, you can bet I'll be riding high with it. 
Holding on for my dear life just like I always did Just close your eyes, baby Take a breath, say my name and I'll be there My love will find you anywhere, anywhere my love Those city lights look like a country sky Like staring at the stars turned upside down And I wish you may, I wish you might Find it in your heart to stick around Hate it had to end this week Tomorrow is a brand new day And the chances that you love are precious too there's someone out there waiting for that sweet good time and lady Make you smile the way I always want to get to Where the wind blows, babe, you can bet I'll be riding high with you Holding on for my dear life just like I always did Just close your eyes, babe, take a breath Say my name and I'll be there My love will find you anywhere Anywhere, my love I'll fly all night Your memories, my lullaby The love don't lie And if it's love don't right You'll be waiting on the other side Arms open wide If love don't lie Where the wind blows, babe, you can bet I'll be riding high with you, holding on for my dear life just like I always did. Just close your eyes, babe, take a breath, say my name and I'll be there. My love will find you anywhere, anywhere. My love will find you anywhere, anywhere. My love will find you anywhere. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Christian Bush. <laughs> I would like to applaud the power of the universe that has decided that we're now going this direction. <laughs> you can take that however you want. I swear they were gummy bears. <laughs> I love the guy I just met a couple minutes ago. He was like, man, you know, I was thinking the whole first set. I didn't really like, I, I, I didn't know you. I'm really surprised. <laughs> but you're the guy from Sugarland. <laughs> I have a new friend. Absolutely nobody knows me better. No one that can make me feel. We stay so long together when everybody, everybody said we never would. Just when I start to think they're right, love is dead. There you go, making my heart beat again, heart beat again, heart beat again. There you go. Never let this go. I'm stuck on you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. stuck like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Some days I don't feel like trying. Some days, you know, I wanna just give. When it doesn't matter who's right, fight about it all night I had enough, give me that look I'm sorry baby, let's make up You 
do that thing that makes me laugh Just like that There you go, breaking my heart Read again, heart beat again Heart beat again There you go, making me feel like a kid To do it, do it one time There you go, pulling me right back in Right back in, right back in And I know I'm never letting it go I'm stuck on you What, 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 stuck like glue like what wow, what wow, stuck like glue you and me baby we're stuck like glue what wow, what wow, stuck like glue you and me baby we're stuck like glue it's my new friend dave <laughs> totally that guy <laughs> busted <laughs> You got a gummy stew? Yeah. Where, that? <laughs> I love you all. Go ahead there now. Mr. Jane, Christian Donald. Bush, y'all. <clears throat> well, this song right here, uh, I'm truly, truly thankful for. Um, you guys gave me my very first number one. Not only as a uh, songwriter, but also as a singer. And this was me, you guys. I got a chance to... Uh, to actually be on the radio for a while, which is pretty cool. Um, this song was the most played song of the year, the year it came out. I'm not going to mention the year because it was a long damn time ago. I got played more than Taylor Swift that year, you guys. Yeah, cheer that shit up. That's never going to happen again. So, so I'm going to take it while I can get it. Um, and since then, it is one of the most played songs of the decade and one of the top 100 most played songs in the history of country music radio, and I'm so thankful for it. Thank you guys for making my dreams come true with this song right here. Check it out, it goes like this. If you got any rhythm out there, get your hands together, y'all. Come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Have to go now, honey. Call him, tell him you won't be in today. Baby, there ain't nothing that the office so important you can't play. I'm thankful for the weekend, but two days in heaven just ain't gonna do. Y'all say it, come on. Come back and let me hold you, darling girl. I I know you got it out there, come on. What's the point in fighting what we're feeling? We both know we'll never win. Ain't this what we're missing? Let's just stop all this resisting and give in. Let me wrap my arms around you. You know you don't want to leave this room. Darling girl, I just got started loving you What can I say? I never felt this way Girl, you're like a dream come true After all the love we made It sure would be a shame If we let this moment end so soon So won't you lay back down beside me Girl, just like I know you want to Trust me when I tell you, darling girl, I just got started loving you. Mr. Levi Lowry, y'all, make some noise for him. Come on. dream come true after all the love we made it sure would be a shame if we let this moment end so so <laughs> so oh you leave 
you back down beside me, girl, just like I know you want to. This is gonna take forever, darling girl. I just got started loving you. Oh, yeah. Come back and let me hold you, darling girl. I just got started loving you. Uh -huh. James Otto. <laughs> I like little James Otto. That's nice. Little it's Jack. one of those ironic nicknames. Little Jack. Like tiny. Little Jack. Tiny James Otto. <laughs> Dude, Chihuahua. never misses We're a We're still working on the note. Chihuahua song. <laughs> Daddy's so big. Yeah. You got him in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. I like, I like the subtle throat. Oh, it's going to get weird. Oh. Okay, keep going. Sorry. Is it both Chihuahuas? Yes. Oh. Both Chihuahuas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll work on it. Both Look, Chihuahuas should probably be the name of the song. I'm seeing double. <laughs> yeah, there's two Chihuahuas up inside my truck. I'm glad you ended with truck. <laughs> that really I think, was I think close it's to getting weird. Holy both shit. Chihuahuas with a giant problem. <laughs> I got both they, Chihuahuas. They can be. With they a can giant be. Problem. <laughs> This is how songs are written. Nowhere to put my hands. <laughs> Shit's getting weird, y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Leave out Larry. Hey. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> We're really excited to be here. We really are, seriously. You don't have to clap. I'm just saying we're excited. Um, we do want to thank the Analog so much for hosting this. I have people. <laughs> Meredith, Greg, and our, our team at Bubble Up that has been helping us promote this and everything that we're doing Southern Rounds-wise. Thank you all so much for being here. I know you're in the room somewhere. <laughs> I want to thank Pretham. He is manning the, uh, the live stream and making sure that gets out to everybody watching at home. Um, he's done a, an incredible job and uh, for us week in and week out, so we want to thank him. And then, obviously, Richard Blackstone. Where are you? Hi. Richard. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, Richard and, and Wyatt, kind of, this is their baby this, this, this evening and Southern Rounds in general. Um, and it's so amazing to see it happen in front of a live audience. Thank God. We've been talking about it for so long. But uh, thank you for all that you do, Wyatt. Thank you for everything that you do to make this a reality. Um, and good news is that Southern Rounds is going to be back here on October the 12th. So make your plans. Be on the lookout for um, an announcement with artists and uh, make your plans to attend. I think we'll all do one more song each if that's all right with y'all. And we're also going to do one more song each if it's not okay with y'all. So <laughs> I don't know why I asked, but that's the plan. Um, I don't know what song I'm going to play next, so let's make it up. I ran out of my hit. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Yeah, I did. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I just talked with a gentleman on my way upstairs about a guy named Travis Meadows. He's an incredible songwriter here in town. One of my favorites. Yeah. One of the best. And uh, Travis was my first co-write here in town years and years and years ago. Wow. And he kind of took me under his wing, thank God. And we've written a lot of songs together. He's become a very dear friend of mine. And please reach out and support him in any way you can. Buy his records. He's going through a little bit of a rough patch right now, but um, hopefully he'll be uh, back up here doing this again at some point soon. But I wrote this song with Travis. We were both talking about our um, our mental health, <laughs> which is just no good for for both of us. Yeah, and uh, and we came up with this one here. So. And the fact you got the balls, both of you, to talk about something that society decides to be cringeworthy when it shouldn't be is uh, admirable. So thank you. I appreciate that. I and mean, I think that one of the things that I've, I was, I was diagnosed bipolar. And um, uh, for the longest time, I just thought I was an asshole. And I, <laughs> well, you are. And oh, I, you're, you're, that, it turns out I am. <laughs> But I also have bipolar, and <laughs> but it's one of those things that, like, I've gone into this this um, long stint of self, whatever exploration bullshit, and one of the things that I've come to realize is that not one of us is neurotypical. I think every single one of us has an issue. We all have a problem. <laughs> it's and that's fine. That's 100% fine. Yeah. All right, sorry. Well, I've been making the same mistakes again. Every time I think I quit. Right back in the middle of it Cigarettes That's the easy part I can't see the straight in me For the crooked in my heart Me and my crazy head I might have to die Just to get myself some rest I roar like a lion, but I'm, I'm scared to death I run until I am completely out of breath But I'll never get away, never get away, get away from me Talking to myself The only time that we agree Is when we disagree with somebody else Sometimes I wish I had different branches on another tree I blame the bruises on the branches On the apple that you see And me and my crazy head I might have to die just to get myself some rest Yeah, I roll like a lion, but I'm scared to death I run until I am completely out of breath But I'll never get away, never get away, get away from me
to die just to get myself some rest. Yeah, I roar like a lion, but I'm scared to death. Yeah, I run and run until I'm completely out of breath. But I'll never get away, never get away, get away from. No, never get away, never get away, never get away. Thank you, thank you. Thank Appreciate you, it, y'all. Mr. Wyatt Durrett. Uh, thank you for that. What a great damn song. It's good to hear the truth sometimes, you know. Like you said, you know. That song, what it did for me, that song, it's probably one of the, my favorite song you ever wrote was uh, where, Wherever We Broke Down, Wherever We Break Down, rather, sorry, um, but that song it just makes you feel okay to not be okay, and that's fucking okay. Um, thank you, guys. Everybody on stage, everybody out there, thank you, guys. Uh, Fucking music, sweet music, right? Um, this is a song I wrote with uh, the late, great Busby. He left the planet, uh, I guess, five or six years ago. Um, but what an amazing human being and songwriter and producer and all that stuff. Um, it, this song, I get, you know, this song is about the things you would do for the ones you love, I guess. It's called Seven Oceans. Maybe you are too 
seven oh sound of a let me sound good. The sons of bitches. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dear, Christian dear, dear, dear Bush. Lord. I love that song, man. Oh my gosh, I love you people so much. Um, this sucks? Yeah. This thing. It's great because it never works. So I saw you guys do this from Atlanta. I saw it online. It showed up as Southern Rounds and I kept looking at it like, what are why isn't Levi doing? <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> and then I, it was some sort of mysterious thing that happened. And sometimes I could catch it, and sometimes I wouldn't. Sometimes I'd be like, oh my God, I'm watching you now. <laughs> and when you called and said, let's do this in front of humans, and I was like, we can breathe on each other. <laughs> <laughs> not too much, not too so much. So strange. <laughs> And um, no, don't say it so breathy. Uh, I'm gonna play this song. It is n is not. Uh, 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 I would love to play you Shirley Ann songs just because they're they're things you know. And this is something that um, reminds me of a song that I I, I am. I, whenever I'm around these two men over here, I get nervous because they're really good. <laughs> And uh, and it's 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 like you know you want to be the worst golfer in the foursome, right? You want to be like the the most terrible one in the thing, so that they make you better. And that is very true. He's and, the most humble man and in the I, foursome every single time. I, I I wish so much in in my life to be uh, where they are in their in their ability to skate this line between what is right in a song and what is popular and it is a difficult yeah. place um, one day this will be a song that way outlives me I wrote this with my dear friend my brother Brandon and uh, my guitar player Benji for our band Darkwater and it is a bigger song than we are this is the song that when we wrote it I just looked at them and was like well shit I guess we're making a band <laughs> just like baby girl was that for Sugar Land right yeah. <laughs> So this goes out to all of you who even showed up because you're unwilling to give up. Too many roads 
James playing. Christian Bush. Thank you Christian so much. Damn Bush. Hey Christian, really quick. You've got a few upcoming projects. Yes. Don't you? I know you uh, always yeah, do. Yeah, so but. tomorrow morning or tonight at midnight, I have another record coming out. Yay! I played you none of those songs, so <laughs> you will be surprised. You'll be like, oh my God. But I always uh, pay attention to this guy because he literally like writes songs at stoplights. <laughs> And Actually, that's not a joke. He, he's not kidding. Um, he, yeah. writes, he writes musicals and roundabouts. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I thank you all very much for your support. Um, you, yes. You can rub your credit card against your phone and type my name in, and shit will pop out. <laughs> Christian Bush, y'all. So, Mr. James Otto, please take us home. And you actually have. An EP coming out, correct? I got a making full it right record coming full out. Right. Okay. Um, I just finished, uh, well, we're almost done, actually, uh, cutting a new record. I, I went down to Muscle Shoals, um, which is, yeah. Anybody who loves music knows that Muscle Shoals has created some of the greatest music of all time. Um, I went down to Fame Music with my buddy Jay Took, who's around here somewhere. 
um, who produced this record with me, and uh, he shared the same vision that I had for this album, which was, uh, uh, we're not trying to make a country record, we're just trying to make a great record. We're trying to make something without labels, and we're trying to make something different, and uh, um, I'm truly proud of this record. But yesterday, um, a guy that I wrote this next song with came in and sang a verse on one of the songs from that record, and uh, this guy I'm truly thankful for because, uh, um, well, the song that we wrote, I got to stand on stage at the ACMs and the CMAs and accept song of the year for, so... They even flew us out to the Grammy Awards and sat us down next to people like Jay-Z and Beyonce. <clears throat> and they were like, who the hell are those two rednecks? What are they doing here? We had no idea either. And because of this song right here, I can always call myself two-time Grammy loser James Otto. <laughs> Check it out. I wrote this song uh, with my buddy Jamie Johnson and Lee Thomas Miller. It's called In Color. You guys make some noise for like this round I'm so honored to, to be on stage with these guys uh, truly some of the greatest um, here it goes check it out I said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white. And it ain't real clear, is that you there? He said, yeah, I was a lover. And times were tough back in 35. This is me and Uncle Joe just trying to survive a cotton farm. The Great Depression And if it looks like We were scared to death Like a couple of kids Just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Well this one here Taking overseas in the middle of hell, 1943. And one time you can no more see my breath. Well, that was my tail gun. Old John McGee, he was a high school teacher from New Orleans, and he had my back right through the day we left. Y'all sing it with me, come on. And if it looks like we were scared to death, like a couple of kids just trying to save each other, you should have. That's right, y'all, come on. A picture's worth a thousand words, but you can't see what those shades of gray keep cover. You should have seen. talking about America's heroes, our men and our women who fight around the world for us on a night just like tonight, y'all. Let me see a show of hands of anybody that served this country of ours. 
Let me see my veterans out there. God bless you and thank you so much for your service and for your sacrifice. Now, I come from a military family. My dad was a drill sergeant for 23 years in the U.S. Army. Yeah, you can applaud for that. I'll take those applause. Now, you military people, you'll know from experience. If you thought that drill sergeant was a pain in your ass for those couple weeks that you were in boot camp, I want you to think about growing up with that asshole every single day of your life. I earned those applause by God. I'll take them. <laughs> I did not appreciate my old man very much at the time. Uh, and at 19 years old, I decided I was going to get the hell out of Dodge. And I joined the U.S. Navy. Because I'd had all the army I could stand. And that pissed my dad off quite a bit at the time. And uh, by the time I turned 21, I'd literally been around the world. I came back with a much greater and deeper respect, not only for my dad, but for all those men and women that sacrificed so much on our behalf. As I found out firsthand, the world needs strong, hard, dedicated men and women to do an incredibly difficult job. My grandfather, he was that kind of man too. He was a Korean War vet. And long before I was ever born, he was in some godforsaken jungle halfway around the world fighting for his life. I've wondered many times, what is it that makes a man wake up in those kind of hellish conditions and want to fight his way out instead of laying down and dying? Now, the truth is, I don't know what motivates all men. But I know what motivated my grandfather. That was my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. They were married for over 50 years, y'all. That's my married people clapping. Because they know. They know firsthand. And it takes strong, hard, dedicated men and women <laughs> to do an incredibly difficult job. 50 years is a long damn time, y'all. <laughs> now, I only saw my grandfather cry one time in my whole life. That's the day they laid my grandmother in the ground after she lost her battle with breast cancer. That's what love should do to you. It should make you want to live and die for somebody else. I hope all y'all have that kind of love or find that kind of love. Is this the one thing that's going to heal this broken world we've been living in, y'all? And it's exactly what this song was written all about. And I'd love if you guys would sing with me when we get to this next chorus. Will y'all do that with me? All right. I'm going to sing this bridge and then I want to hear y'all out there. This one is my favorite one, this mean grandma in the summer sun I'll rest the day we said our vows. You can't tell it here, but it was hot that June, that rose was red and her eyes were blue, and just look at that smile, I was so proud. That's the story of my life Right there in black and white 
Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you again on October the 12th. Come back out. Do not forget to love each other, please. <laughs>